So it looks like Epic Games has announced, has finally announced their pricing for uh, Unreal Engine, Twin Motion, and Rea Reality Capture uh, for uh, non game creating uh, companies. Uh, but before that, if you're new, be sure to, uh, if you want to see uh, 3D tutorials, videos, and such, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the other videos. Now, uh, let's just take a look at this. Uh, uh, we are updating Unreal Engine, Twin Motion, and Reality Capture pricing in late April. We are introducing a new seat based Unreal Engine subscription when we release Unreal Engine 5.3. This new pricing of uh, $1,850 per seat will apply to uh, companies generating over $1 million USD in annual gross revenue who are not creating games so basically if you're doing like uh you know motion graphics which is what they're uh, launching pretty soon with 5.5.4 or i mean obviously what it says uh not creating games and if you are this is pretty much going to affect like most companies because most most medium companies e even small companies they generate you know, one million dollars a year, and I've um, I've I've heard a, a few uh, digital artists uh, not complain and actually are for some strange reason they're they're happy about uh, Unreal Engine um, charging. Uh, but um, yeah, so basically, if you're just you know like a regular person messing around with unreal engine this probably doesn't affect you but um me i work as um uh, as a designer so the company that i work for um I i'm definitely sure they make well over a million dollars a year so if uh, if if i or if you if your company if you want to use unreal engine at your company they're going to have to cough up uh eighteen hundred dollars or nearly two thousand dollars which is pretty which is pretty high but uh, so let's just uh, read the rest of this um last year at unreal fest uh, new orleans we announced that in 2024 we will be offering an an unreal engine seat based enterprise software pricing model for industries other than game development to future funded development efforts we will be rolling out rolling out this new game non-game pricing model for Unreal Engine 5.4 in late April. We are sharing more information now so you can be ready for when it's coming. Unreal Engine will remain free for students, educators, hobbyists, companies generating less than $1 million in annual revenue. We will not charge our licensing model for game developers who are who will continue to pay 5% royalties on products that exceed one million dollars in lifetime gross the first million that a game generates is exempt from royalties the revenue earned through epic game stores is, is exempt from overall royalties calculations just as it is today what is changing for non-game industries uh, you will and we will introduce a seat based unreal engine subscription as part of the eu update with release uh, the annual cost will be 18 hundred dollars eighteen hundred and fifty dollars with regional pricing select and select countries i guess that means that i guess some countries like um, brazil or, or certain countries um it probably will be lower but anyway uh, you uh, you will only need to pay for seats if you meet all of the following criteria uh, you are a company that generates one or more than a million dollars. You do not create games and you do not create applications that are licensed to third parties, third party end users, end users and rely on Unreal Engine code at runtime. You will be able to use seat based subscriptions to create linear content, for example, film. I guess that, uh, okay, film. Television shows, architectural visualization, graphics and broadcast live events products not incorporated in unreal engine code at runtime are not licensed to third parties 
For example, product configurations used to either internal or either used in either internally or externally immersive experiences that are not sold directly to individual users, such as theme park rides and interactive architectural walkthroughs. If you are developing a non game application that is licensed to third party end users and relies on Unreal Engine code at runtime, then you will need to pay royalties just like game developers. You will pay 5% royalty on products that exceed $5 million in lifetime gross. If you actually are using Unreal Engine 5.3 or prior versions, pricing changes will not apply to you until you decide to update, uh, which is, I guess is kind of cool. So uh, I guess, uh, I mean, I guess that's more than fair. Uh, pricing changes will not apply to new or existing users of Unreal Engine 5.3 or any prior version. They will only apply to users of 5.5, 5, excuse me, 5.4 or later, and you you can view the Unreal Engine roadmap to see what's planned for Unreal 5.5 and beyond. You'll be able to purchase seats on a fixed user ba basis, and users will, with admin rights, will be able to manually transfer seats to other users in other organizations. Uh, what's including Unreal Engine subscription subscription seats? Each seat provides a single user with access with 5.4 along with two of our engine compatible uh two co along with two of our engine compatible creative tools to motion and reality capture you will also we will also offer a 30 day free 30 day free trial that covers all three products so they're basically making a suite uh, we are we're bringing these tools to all together as part of a subscription to help teams across industries uh, ef efficiently build high quality 3D experiences. And our goal is to fully integrate Twin Motion. Oh. Our goal is to fully integrate Twin Motion and Reality Capture with Unreal Engine by the end of 2025. Interesting. But I thought uh Twin I thought Twin Motion was is a Unreal Engine app or something like that. But anyway, uh, that's interesting. Un um, reality capture is uh, being uh, folded in. Uh, Twin Motion gives you yada yada, lightweight, easy. Uh, okay. Uh, reality capture. Um, I believe this is their 3D scanning tool. Uh, community based support, yada yada yada. Epic game, epic direct, direct sport, uh, support through Unreal Engine, yada yada. Okay. Um, I skipped through that. What about Twin Motion and Reality Standalone Products? Uh, yada yada will still be available to purchase individually. Individually, uh, Twin Motion seats will be priced at just under five hundred dollars a year. Real uh, Reality individual seats will be priced at um, twelve hundred and fifty dollars a year, starting with. Uh, um, uh, reality capture 1.4. Uh, so if you buy these individually, um, you're actually getting, I guess, more of a deal. Okay. Uh, so if you just go for the, the bundle or the suite, um, so I, I'm going to predict maybe they're going to call it the unreal, um, yeah, the unreal suite or something or something like that. Why make these changes now? Our goal is to keep our tools free for as many people as possible, especially for those folks just starting out. These changes are designed to keep uh, where I go? Uh, these changes are designed to make long term Unreal Engine development sustainable so that we can continue to pro provide the very best and most advanced creative tools. To all industries, big companies, small studios, individuals. So, a few years ago, um, Unreal Engine, our, our Epic Games was bought, or 51% stake was bought by Tencent, that gaming Chinese, was it Chinese? Yeah, Chinese gaming doc, giant, giant. So, they're gonna want, obviously, they're gonna want their money back. Uh, you know, they spent a lot of money, billions of dollars, so they're gonna, Obviously, when you have a big corporation such as like Microsoft, they're purchasing Bethesda. 
um, Activision Blizzard and stuff like that, you're going to start, they're going to start to charge. They're going to start to charge. They're going to, they're going to want their money back. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to want their money back. So, um, let's check out the frequent uh, FAQs. Um, what do you get with Unreal Engine subscription? I believe we, they covered that. How? I'll be able to manage multiple seeds. I think they cover that. I will be able to sign. Yada, yada, yada. I have existing custom licensing term under the enterprise. And what do I need to do? You will not to be. We will not be renewing existing. Okay. So they won't be renewing that. Can you purchase Unreal Engine without Twin Motion? Yeah. The Unreal Engine. Yeah. So can you purchase the Unreal Engine without Twin Motion? And reality, reality capture, Unreal Engine subscription comes with those two. You don't have to download it. Okay. Uh, what will happen if I do not renew my subscription? You will not lose access to any of the tools or projects you created. But if you want to keep using Unreal Engine, Twin Motion, um, yada, 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 the EU you signed requires that you buy a new seat. The exemption is if your annual gross revenue has changed and you are under the million dollar threshold. What if I don't update to 5.4? I believe they answer that. No, you are currently using 5.3. In prior versions, you may choose to remain under um, the standard e EU for those versions. Okay. So if you want to stick with 5.3, which is probably for the most part, um, good enough. Uh, it's probably, it's probably good enough. Uh, I develop public pl uh, plugins for Unreal Engine. Do I need to purchase a seat? No, you continue, you can continue to use Unreal Engine free. We gratefully, we're grateful you're helping to improve the Unreal Engine ecosystem. For everyone, if you choose to sell your plugin on a marketplace, our usual revenue share is 88%. Is the million dollar threshold tied to product revenue or company revenue? Um, there are two one million thousand one million thousand one million thresholds that are dependent that depend on what you make and how much you make. Realties are determined by lifetime gross of the product or title you created. Once you once that project is has earned one million dollars, whether it has happened in a month or three years. You'll start paying royalties on your earnings above the first million dollars. Unreal Engine subscriptions are determined by your revenue annual gross company revenue. If your company has reported one million dollars or more in the last 12 months, fiscal years, you'll need to pay for the seat. Is the one million dollar is the one million dollar revenue threshold always calculated USD? Yes. You should use a reasonable currency conversion rate to calculate whether your company meets the one million dollar uh, threshold. So that's that's on you. You're, that's on you. Uh, what if the currency isn't is other than USD and my purchasing seats? We support a number of other currencies. We have adjusted pricing for certain geographical locations. I guess that means if you're living in, um, I don't want to say a third world country or maybe, maybe a third world country, the pricing is probably going to be cheaper. You'll be able, uh, you'll be shown the final price of your local, of your location after you start the purchase process, purchase process, purchase process and before you pay. Uh, so Tim Sweeney, I guess the CEO of Epic Games, like he said before, um, He's all about transparency. So what do you think? Um, I think that this is pretty much. If you look at the cost of. If you look at the cost of. Of, of a subscription of Maya Autodesk Maya. It kind of they I, I'm pretty sure they were looking at this pricing. Um, how the, how the, um, the community or users or companies are going to respond to that, to respond to this, um, it's going to be quite interesting. So if you are, um, if you're, if you use, if you use, uh, Unreal Engine at your job, um, I'm interesting, post it in the comments. What, what do you think about this pricing? Um, 
Um, I'm pretty sure if you work at a company and you're using Unreal Engine uh, in your work for or for whatever for non uh, game creation, I'm pretty I'm guess that you probably your company generates um, more than one million dollars. So what do you think? So this is the Autodesk pricing for Maya, and it's probably the same um, for um, 3D Studio Max and their other products. So this is 1850 this is 1875 so i'm pretty sure when they were looking at um their pricing model and who uses this um well they can well these companies they they're using you know autodesk maya and and, and whatnot and cinema 4d so if they can pay uh you know if they can pay almost two thousand dollars um, if, if, you know, Autodesk can charge them $2,000, we can charge them, um, we can charge them, uh, nearly $2,000 and we're going to, th we're, and we're going to throw in, um, was it twin motions and, uh, the reality scan. So what do you think? Uh, do you think the pricing is fairing? I do, I guess if you're dealing with a company that is generating, uh, you know, millions of dollars, um, I guess you can say that's fair, but if you're serious, you know, if they're serious about this, then I guess that's kind of fair. Um, chances are, you know, if you are using Unreal Engine for motion graphics and stuff like that, you're probably, you may be working for a, you know, television studio or, you know, movie studio or something like that. Uh, but, um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, are you freaking out? Uh, will this will, will this affect you? At, at you know, will, will this affect you? If you, this probably will affect you if you're using it uh, for your job. Um, I know that you know at where where I work at, um, I was trying to utilize Unreal Engine in uh, my work um, after this because I, my company you know it generates uh, you know well well uh, uh you know well over a million dollars in revenue in gross revenue so i think this is pretty much going to kill kill that so it let me know what you think um are you facing the same thing um be sure to uh, hit that like button if you're new subscribe if you want in uh, more videos on 3d and unreal engine and you guys take care